Welcome to the instructional video on drug facts comparisons, often just referred to as facts comparisons. This is one of the standard main print resources that you use for generic drug monographs. It doesn't have too much information, but at the same time it's not to lean on information. In its overall coverage, it's probably somewhere in between the DI Handbook and AHFS. It's sort of a nice middle-of-the-road book. When you're using it, there is a table of contents in the beginning. It's organized by um, therapeutic class. So each chapter has a major therapeutic class in it, and then within that they're broken down into subsections. So see, for example, the central nervous system agents are divided up into subsections. Within that, they are organized alphabetically by generic name. And there is an index in the back if you can't, if you're not certain about what the generic name is of a particular brand name you're looking for. Now, at the beginning of each of the sections here within a given um, therapeutic class, you're going to see a lot of information. You may see various warnings if we look at NSAIDs, and you're going to see a lot of comparative tables. And this is where the whole comparison part of facts comparison comes in. And this is one of the things that really sets this resource apart from a lot of the other um, both print and electronic resources that you have. You're going to see a lot of these comparative charts on a variety of topics. Um, one that's very common like this is you'll see a summary of indications and what they'll do is take every drug within a particular class or subclass and show them side by side and for example in this case look at all the different indications that go into a particular that are that are listed for a particular drug same sort of thing with adverse reactions. So here you could see that in a flash, if you really want to, you can see that, okay, if you have a patient that you're concerned about a particular adverse reaction, you can see and say, okay, you can see exactly you know, what the chances of having a particular adverse reaction is for every possible drug in a class. It helps you make a lot of decisions depending on what you're doing. And it's good to know that these charts and tables are in here because they're not, they're one of the more interesting aspects of using facts comparisons. And if you get a handle on them and know what's here and what's not here, it's really going to help you out in the long run if you start to look, come across problems and situations where these might be useful to you. Beyond that, the general monographs are going to begin with something that looks like this. You're going to see a lot of different information about um, the various manufacturers, um, the dosage forms that they have. You'll see the little OTC as well as the RX. If it's a particular schedule of drug, it'll tell you that. You'll also notice that there's a lot of different stuff here. If you'll notice, they include information like the flavors that something is available in. They tell you whether or not it contains sugar, whether or not it contains sucrose. You'll see if something contains alcohol. It's this is one of the this is one of the rare places that will tell you a lot of information about um, certain things like that in addition to flavors. But if is something sugar free, is something alcohol free, um, that information is generally available at the beginning of every monograph. So, for example, in this case, ibuprofen. The overall monographs are going to be pretty succinct, um, longer than your average DI handbook. Uh, monograph and general information, nothing too out of the ordinary as far as the coverage. Um, be aware that, that so you had sort of a general drug monograph at the beginning. Each individual um, drug, whether it's an over-the-counter or not, is going to have its own monograph within that uh, monograph here. And it's going to have a variety of basic information. This an expansion on the same sort of stuff that you would find in the package insert or something like that. If you have trouble using this book, make sure you ask questions. Make sure you ask either at the library or one of your pharmacy professors. And uh, thank you for watching.